All right, now you see my angles are built and they are clicoed in position, halfway between here and here. And now what I'm ready to do is cut the spar apart. Once I cut the spar apart, I can clico it back together across these pieces and these will serve as bridges across the damage to ensure that all the holes stay in identical position. So I'm going to find where my damage is right across the center and I'm going to mark out a three quarter inch section right across each side and that three quarter inch section is going to be the material that we are going to remove from our damage spar. Now I have had a couple of students in the past go ahead and cut the spar in half with the pieces that they built in the middle and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of building those pieces first. So don't forget to remove your bridge pieces, your locator pieces, before you cut the spar. Now the damage section that we are going to cut out is going to extend right on each side of the crack and since our damage happens to be conveniently nicely located we can go ahead and draw our damage section in right across from one side to the other and I'm just simply lining up in the center of these holes. I'm going to make this nice and straight. Marking the edge on one side Marking the edge on the other side. And that is where my cutting is going to occur. Now, there's some easier ways to do this cutting and there's some harder ways to do this cutting. And I'm going to show you the easier way to do this cutting. Uh, however, any way that you can do it where you don't damage the spar is not in and of itself incorrect. We're going to use the bandsaw. On our bandsaw cut, we're going to run right up the center. We're not going to run on either of these red lines because the bandsaw tears and leaves jaggy stuff and we don't want to do that. Also, warn yourself that this bandsaw is going to be loud. You might want to wear hearing protection for the bandsaw cut. Keep your fingers away from the bandsaw as well. You know that spar I just spent all that time building? I just cut it in half. Let's go make those cuts clean. All right, to clean up these cuts, I'm gonna use my snips. I'm gonna very carefully snip up the side to match where that red line is. So I'm gonna very, very cautiously snip up the side and straighten that little wing out. I'm gonna do that to all four spots. And once I do that to all four spots, it's going to be time to use the shear to finish things up. Here we go. Now, snips are directional, and the red snips are a right cut pair. The green snips are a left cut pair, so I'm going to use a pair of green snips on the other side. So there's my green snip pair and it comes up around the corner. My red snip pair came up around the other corner. I'm going to very carefully cut it in such a way as to lift that last little tab and I can come all the way around the corner. But now I'm going to go over and I'm going to use the, the shear to finish this off perfectly straight. So shears can only cut things that are flat. So I've flattened the two edges and now I can stick this in the back of the shear all the way up to the edge where I've bent those down. Make sure your fingers are well clear and you can shear that off and it should leave you with a perfect cut across the top. We're going to do that again for the other one. Hold it in position. Make sure that each flange is all the way against the table. Shear that off and we have our very nice cut. Now, just like everything else, I can't forget that I need to deburr and round my corners. 
But once that's done, I'm going to be ready to reassemble this spar with the damaged section cut out of the spar. So here's where my spar goes. I find my blue dot and I line it up against my blue dot. And I use my Clico pliers to install the bridge piece. And this is going to hold the spar exactly in the same position as it used to occupy. The only difference is that now the damage is gone. So here's my green dot, and my green dot lines up against my green dot. And we should be ready to go.